It's all a bunch of stupid shit. What's up, creepers? And Geekers Christy, Terry Creep. How's everyone doing today? What a way to start a video, right? I don't know. And to be perfectly honest with you, I wasn't talking about what we're going to talk about today. What is it we're going to talk about today? Well, you already know because you saw the thumbnail and you read the words that talks about the stuffs. Um... I'll normally do these, hey, look what that games or, you know, it's coming. I guess I do some, hey, look what's coming up. But generally, when it comes to at games, I could not give a single fuck. Um, I have my at games Atari Portable, which I'm more than happy with. The first rendition of it, the first year it came out. And I've been more than happy with it. In fact, it's in my Suburban right now. It's in my truck. And when I park somewhere and waiting, that fucker comes out. I'm not on my phone. I'm not listening to the radio. I got my Atari Portable out, and I'm playing fucking Yaz Revenge. That's what I'm doing. What are you doing? You're on your fucking phone or touching yourself, aren't you? You sick fuck. Don't be near a school, or I'll come get you. I'll be the Jason Voorhees of Justice. But that's neither here nor there. We're here to talk about that games and not pedophilia, okay? And also because, you know, this decided to split its mortal coil on me, and I'm not using a keyboard to play video games. Um... Yeah, let's talk about something. Let's just talk about something. So my buddy Ordo Necro over on Instagram sent me this post from At Game saying, Hey, have you seen... Actually, it's still up. Uh, see this? I dig the redesign, he says. As a matter of fact, there's his comment right there to the right of the console that I hearted. But I'm not going to like the actual post because fuck At Games and their stupid little assholes. Um, but this is something... This is, what, the 10th one now? This is going to be the 10th one. Uh, let me look at, yeah, Flashback 10, or X. Is this going to be Uber, Uber Jason console? But, I don't know. This is something they probably should have done a long time ago. Uh, and I think it's more so now because all these other mini consoles have come out. And they've been pretty accurate representations of their big brothers. Uh, I think they finally got their heads out of their ass and said, you know what, maybe we should actually make the damn thing look like the damn thing it's supposed to look like. So, here you go. You have an Atari flashback that has the little switches. And you know what, to be honest with you, secondhand clearance and or Facebook Marketplace for $20. I may buy one of these not to have the play, but because of its aesthetic. Um, I think this looks great. I, I, I absolutely enjoy the look of this thing. And the ironic thing is, is it has 110 games. And it's probably going to have more games on it than the actual Atari console that's supposed to be coming out. So, okay, Sarah, Sarah. But here's the list. I know you probably can't read it. I can't read it, but it looks to me like it's all the same crap mixed in with a handful of titles that not only do you not have any business needing to play, like the Sword Quest games, um, there's a lot of paddle games. Your typical stuff. It's, it's at games, you know. It's, it's what normally comes on these consoles. Uh, with maybe a, a few surprises here and there. I'm not going to read it. You can look into this more so if you so choose to. So I decided to go to their web zone and check it out. And it looks like it's going to retail for $60, bucks, 59 99 which is, again, pretty standard for something like this. The box looks typical. And they talk about, you know, Space Invaders and Yards Revenge and Pitfalls and Froggers and all that stuff. I played Frogger today. Um, not on a console, but in real life, uh, trying to get across the street was pretty hectic. 110 built-in games, all new mini console design features. Notice how they're calling it a mini console design now. They're not calling it like the flashback or anything like that. They're, they're specifically going for these two words right here. Mini console something, again, they should have been doing for a while now. But they're finally getting it. Sharp 720p HD video output. Scanline filter options. Yeah, I get it. It's all the same crap. Um, so if this picture is anything to go by, and I doubt it is because, I mean, they're copying what everyone else is doing. The, the, the white background, the stupid hand, and the fucking console on it, you know. Um, it looks like the console is going to be much smaller. They may actually be literally copying the mini console craze. I don't know. It's just a computer rendering, so... They're normally, what, like this? So it would fit my whole hand. Are they going to be smaller now? It would make more sense. And actually, that would be something I'd be, again, more down for. But, I mean, that's it. 
that's that's really all there is. Flashback 10, it looks more accurate to the original. But this is why I really wanted to come on the website and talk to you. The Atari Flashback Portable, which hopefully I've already said is the only console by them that I think is worth anything. It's worth anything at all. Um, it's a fantastic little unit. It does what it's supposed to do, and it does it well. You don't get any bells or whistles. It's just, it is what it is, and it's perfect. And I've actually toyed around with the idea of doing wood grain on mine. Uh, more so around the button layout there. If you have one of these, you know it's like a tray uh, where there's a recessed area. I was going to put some uh, self-adhesive uh, wood grain veneer there. And same with around the, uh, the directional pad as well as the top and bottom panels. Um, I wasn't going to go as crazy as this thing is. But now looking at this, I haven't bought any flashback portables since the original. Again, because there was really no need to. Um, this I may. I, again, maybe secondhand clearance after the holidays. Uh, only because I dig. I dig the aesthetic. Um, this too will also be $60. Uh, it looks like it's sold out already. Holy shit. People are going nuts for it, huh? Uh, but it's got 80 built-in games. I don't remember what mine has. Um, I can't recall. I would go get the box, but fuck it. I'm not going to do that. I don't want to edit this. Um, <laughs> but I have the SD card, and I have pretty much everything I need on there, so it doesn't matter. Uh, the screen and everything, everything looks like it's pretty much exactly the same. Still has the SD card slot. It has a fancy picture of some, some dude playing it, or a lady. It looks like dude hands, though. And um, there it is, up close and personal. And, of course, never showing the actual Atari version of Pac-Man. But more so the 5200 and above. But yeah, no, that's 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 really all there is to that. Um, this looks cool. I'm not paying 60 bucks for it, but I wouldn't mind upgrading mine and just putting the other one aside for you know whatever um, <clears throat> for backup. Maybe I'll send it up to Brian's man cave because he still can't seem to find his Atari portable. Uh, but that game's good on you. Good on you for this right here. Uh, I. I think I, I, I will enjoy buying a second-hand dirt cheap. So, how say you? Are you just sick and tired of these fucking things like I am? Now, don't get me wrong. This holiday season, I'm asking Santa Claus for the uh, Genesis Mini and or the Turbo Graphics one. Um, those two I can get behind, only because those are more my bag than the Super Nintendo and the Nintendo and the PlayStation and all that stuff. Although, I wouldn't mind getting the PlayStation one for like 10 bucks and then hacking it. But regardless, i will make a series out of that. A guy who doesn't really hack, trying to hack into something that he's never hacked before. But I don't know. So, I don't know. Leave your thoughts down below. Let me know what you think about this new Act Games. I know there's a lot of you guys that still like to buy them. Obviously, because they're fucking still making them. This is the 10th one. You know, they wouldn't be making them if the money wasn't coming in. Um, but aside from it just looking cool now, that's all I really had to say about it. And however long this video was is... How long, I guess, it took me to really get to that realization. So, guys, go ahead and leave feedback. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. I'll feedback, too. The creep is positive. I hope you guys are having a great week. Tomorrow's Halloween. And, again, if I don't talk to you between now and then, please be safe out there. Because accidents don't enjoy holidays. They fucking work 24-7. Little kids are going to be out there. So, if you've got your kids out there, keep an eye on them. If you're driving around, coming home from work, pissed off. Just remember there's going to be a bunch of little kids out there trying to get all sugared up on their parents. Just drive safe, okay? Be cool. Be cool. Just You'll get home eventually, I promise. So go ahead and leave your feedback. Thumbs up, thumbs up. All feedback is positive. I'm pretty sure you said that. Thank you always so much for watching. I genuinely do appreciate each and every one of you. Until next time, take care. Creep it real.